insane, both of them. Utterly insane. Still, they say the first sign of madness is talking to yourself. Who said that? Was that me? I don't know. <laughs> Remember we used to do this and run away? I ran away. You stayed and apologised. Sorry. Uh, Coke for me, please. Um... Coffee. Coffee. Straw with a Coke? No. You usually have a straw. No straw, thanks. He usually has a straw. I don't want a straw. No straw. Thank you. I've got those bendy ones. No. Please. All right. OK, everyone, listen, please. It's just this. Now, we've all known each other for a long time. I mean, let's face it, guys, we're a team. And I'd just like to share something with you all. Final paste up, half an hour. <laughs> Love it when I'm cruel. Hello? No, this isn't your Aunt Rachel. I'm sorry, is this Dublin again? No, it's Dublin still. So I'm really sorry about this. It's the call. It must be misrooting. Yeah, right. Listen, would you mind? I'm actually waiting for someone to phone. Yeah, right. Look, I'm sorry. Mr. Sullivan, it's about your sewage. Mr. Sullivan, it's about your own sewage. Mr. Sullivan, it's about your sewage. Mr. Sewage. Colin, try and understand this. I'm saying no, I'm not agreeing. There's absolutely no way on this earth I'm ever going to be a rock star, OK? You won't be on your own, of course. You'll be part of the Pavilion's talent show. We've just got to get your face seen. What do you think of the poster, then? Taste with bells on, right? Colin. Yeah? When I regain the use of my body, I'm going to kill you. Anyway, look, I'm really sorry about this. There must be something wrong at the exchange. Because people keep ordering pizza from us. Have you tried finding the operator? Yeah, I get a pet shop in Birmingham. Kenny, about this party? I'm on the phone. Oh, don't tell me, your aunt. I'm the wrong number. Now, look, put all your calls on divert. That's the button you press to answer. I'll join your little arrow, look. Why do you instantly assume I'm incapable of understanding anything technical? I'll find it saves time. What's on your mind? Look, do you realise... If it wasn't for a coincidence of floorboard repair and post 50 odd years ago, I wouldn't exist. I just find that weird, scary, that my whole life is a result of some dumb mistake. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. This is sounding like really dumb and stupid. Yeah. Listen, Kenny, I can't get anyone to go to this party with me. Well, go on your own. No. That'd be like failure. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry I mentioned it. Hi. Hello again. Please, Kenny, you've got to help me out here. Look, can I call you back? Is that what you found to ask me? I'm sorry. That's OK. Look, Linda, no one will go with you because they know Spike wants to. So here's a really wild suggestion. Go with Spike. You heard the man? No way. Absolutely no way. You got that, both of you? Nice try, thanks. I don't know what we're seeing. Now. Nah. Oh, Rachel. So, what's the problem? Divorce the bitch. What? That's the problem. Divorce the bitch. Sorry. Please, I did ask you. Don't use that word. What word? Problem. Divorce the bitch, darling. Every time somebody says that word, Alex says, divorce the bitch. Why? I can't help it. I just have to say it. Right, like I can't get my finger off me nose. The thing is, it's starting to affect my work. Really? I'm a marriage guidance counsellor. Yeah, I can see how that might be a bit of a problem. Divorce the bitch. Look, there must be something you can do. Please. But I need to speak to the person that I was misrooted to. Look, you've got to be able to do something. Yes, well, I'm very pleased that you fixed the problem. Now, could you please just unfix it for a minute? Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very bloody much. Would you... No. 
hang on, there's somebody at the door. All right, no problem. Divorce the bitch. Come on, Kenny, you're a complete neurotic. I'm a complete neurotic? Well, let's just take a little look at who's talking here. And what do you mean by that? Well, no offence, Linda, but let's be honest. You're a selfish, paranoid, maladjusted, psychotic, complete bitch. Linda. Linda. Turn around, slowly. Face the other way. One twitch I don't like. Just make an interjection at this point. Shut up! His hair dyed 14 different colors because I went out with her for one night. You beat up a guy because he wrote about me on a wall. That makes you crazier. Look, will you two just shut up? Look, what is it with you two? You want to go out with each other. We all know you want to go out with each other. So it's a little idea off the top of my head. Go out with each other and give us all a bit of peace. Before you say a word, shut up! There's a theory in this newsroom that if you keep your mouth shut for more than 30 seconds, your head will explode. So prove us all wrong. The only thing I want to hear your mouth do is to ask Spike to this party. Now! This minute! Spike, want to go to a party? Spike! Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to. Good. And furthermore, I am now designating this party as your first official date. I am not putting on weight. I will have those biscuits, thank you. Just the one, though. Look, let me put it another way. A really different way. Remember that time I kept getting a wrong number? Remember when I was trying to phone my aunt? All right, yeah, the girl in Dublin. <laughs> you fell in love with the wrong number. Look, I really clicked with that girl. I suppose I had actually found out her number and we'd met up. It's possible, I'm only saying possible, that we could have ended up someday together. I don't know, married, with kids or whatever. Some people get over a wrong number faster than this. Hang on, there's someone at the door. Hello, is Eileen there? No, there's no Eileen here, sorry. This is number two, isn't it? No, it's number 24. Two's right at the other end of the road there. Oh, sorry. Uh, no problem. Who was it? Ah, uh, just the wrong number. 